Hi, I'm Byron Coey. I'm uh, a senior investigator at the National Institutes of Health's uh, infectious diseases outpost called Rocky Mountain Laboratories in Hamilton, Montana. Yeah, my lab is focused on um, protein misfolding diseases for three decades or so now, in particular, uh, prion diseases such as uh, Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease in humans, mad cow disease, chronic wasting disease in, in deer, elk, and moose. But more recently, we've moved into uh, the research of other protein misfolding diseases, especially those involving uh, synuclein and tau aggregation. It's in the case of synuclein, synucleinopathies, we've been interested in particular Parkinson's disease, dementia with Lewy bodies. Uh, in terms of the tauopathies, we've been interested in uh, um, all the ones we can get our hands on, basically. And we're, our, our main interest in these other very prevalent protein misfolding diseases of humans is, is in using what we've learned in the field of prion diseases. Uh, to develop highly sensitive and accurate assays, seed amplification assays for the misfolded protein aggregates that cause the synucleinopathies and, and various tauopathies. We and a couple of other labs are in the initial stages of developing similar assays for the synucleinopathies, such as Parkinson's disease, uh, dementia with Lewy bodies, multiple systems atrophy, using cerebral spinal fluid samples taken from living patients, and um, these assays are working quite well already, and at least in, in at least in four different laboratories who have been attempting to develop these these tests, and so we're showing considerable promise for giving an early a clearer early um, diagnosis of these synucleinopathies. We also have been trying hard to develop um, tau RT quick assays, uh, several of them in fact, to, to detect the pathological aggregates of tau that occur in the different types of tauopathies. Well, the first tau RT quick assay that has worked well for us was one for a rarer tauopathy called PIC disease. And that has proven to have extraordinary sensitivity and selectivity for the tauopathies that involve the accumulation of three repeat isoforms of tau. We have more recently optimized the tau RT quick assays for more common tauopathies, Alzheimer's disease, Chronic traumatic encephalopathy, for instance, involves the accumulation of both the four repeat and three repeat isoforms of tau on one hand, um, again showing extraordinary uh, sensitivity for, for those types of tau aggregates and some selectivity. Ultimately, we and, and other labs hope to develop a panel of these sort of seed amplification assays that can be used on specimens, cerebral spinal fluid specimens, for instance, or nasal brushings, maybe blood eventually, uh, to tell a patient early on when they show up in the clinic with signs of neurological disease or protein misfolding disease, um, which protein, what, what protein or proteins uh, are misfolding in, in that to give rise to the person's problem. Hopefully, early on in the clinical course when before too much damage is done, which of course should make it much easier to devise therapeutic approaches to, to dealing with their diseases. Up to now, uh, the clear diagnosis of many of these uh, neurodegenerative protein misfolding diseases can be very difficult, especially early on in the clinical course and often depends on post-mortem examination of brain tissue, which of course is too little, too late.